Time now for our regular chit chat with Johnny Cupcakes. Hi, my name is Johnny. I made millions of dollars off of baked goods. Here we go. Whoa, whoa, this is crazy. What the heck is going on? There's hundreds of people that camp out in front of my t-shirt shops, sleeping on the streets for weeks just to buy limited edition t-shirts. Sleeping on the streets, it's crazy. I've met thousands of people around the world that have my brand's logo tattooed on themselves. Our next speaker started 16 businesses before he was 16 years old. Uh, hello, my name is Johnny Earl, also known as Johnny Cupcakes. I'm an entrepreneur, an innovator, um, an idea farmer, and most importantly, I'm a prankster. I actually trick hungry people for a living. And when I was eight years old, I got into magic. This was when everything changed. I realized that I could do something that makes me happy and that makes other people happy and I could figure out a way to get paid for this. I own retail shops, t-shirt shops, that are set up like bakeries. We display graphic shirts inside of refrigerators and vintage ovens, on baking trays. When you walk into my retail stores, you smell frosting, but it's really vanilla scented car fresheners that I hide throughout the store. And when you buy a t-shirt from Johnny Cupcakes, we package them in little pastry boxes. So everything is a complete experience, but I will tell you, it does trick hungry people every single day. 100% of those people, they all leave with a story to share. Everything in the world's been done before, and it's all about how we do things different. People have so many options. Why are they gonna choose our product, our service, or our personality? I like to say good packaging does not get thrown away, and what it does is it acts as a miniature billboard. So when your friend goes over your house and you save that packaging from the Apple store, people see it and they're like, oh man, that reminds me, I gotta get an iPad for my mom for Mother's Day. Or that reminds me, let's go to the Nike store, I gotta pick up some new shoes. So when you're starting a business, developing a product, keep in mind those little details in that packaging could really push someone to take that extra step to buy something from you, to have an experience to share, just like Build-A-Bear has a cardboard dollhouse when you buy a bear, um, or it might act as a, as a miniature billboard. I know that everyone has amazing ideas, everyone has brilliant ideas, but so many people are afraid of failing, so they won't even take that first step. I've been able to fail and fail fast, which has allowed me to learn and eventually find my passion and support my family. He now speaks to groups around the world on how to start, grow, and reinvent your business with little to no startup money. He's known for helping other people create blueprints for building brand loyalty, creating memorable experiences, and inspiring innovation. We have terrible reviews because we don't sell real food. <laughs> And before I wrap things up, I just want to read to you this review. He put his real name. He said, this is not Cupcake Shop. Overpriced t-shirt and not even one cupcake. Only when you pay for parking and enter the storefront, you realize you wasted your time. Comma, capital O. On the storefront, they have signs galore. Freshly baked, no sugar. Not even one sign say they sell cloths. No cupcakes. They think it's clever. Nope. Before I sign off, I want to show you guys what's clever. I'm going to put this on a t-shirt and sell it for $35. <laughs> Thank you. I want to wrap things up by saying luck has nothing to do with it. Stop making excuses and start making stuff. I'm Johnny Earl, also known as Johnny Cupcakes, and I believe that real success is being happy doing what you love.